you will need the following tools. A tape measure, a flathead screwdriver, a Phillips head screwdriver, and a three blade screwdriver, which is included in the box. You will need to supply four AA batteries, as these are not supplied with the QSmart. Open the box and place the foam into the lid. Remove the two handle halves. Open the inner box and check all the components are present. See page two of the installation manual for more details. It's important to wedge the door so that it remains open during the installation. Firstly, measure the door thickness. Then select the correct fixing pack according to the thickness. Discard the ones that you don't need. Then measure from the cylinder screw to the inside face of the door and select the correct rotator bar size. Discard the two bars that are not to be used. When selecting the bar, make a note of the click position for your door thickness, one or two clicks. Add the cylinder rotator and the rotator bar to your box of components. You should have one spindle with three machine screws, a handle alignment jig, IC cards, a fixing screw for the inner cover with a special screwdriver. Five self-tapping screws, four small screws to hold the inner lever to the mounting plate, and two screws and springs that you'll only need if you have to reverse the handing. Remove the existing handle and cylinder and give the face of the door a quick clean. Insert the cylinder bar in the correct click position and then install the cylinder rotator in the door using the screw provided. Press down the pin to rotate the cam. Determine the handle direction or hand in and change the QSmart's orientation if necessary. Start with the external half, undo and remove the lever retaining screw and spring washer. Remove the lever and replace in the correct position. Then refasten using a new spring washer and screw. Repeat for the internal half. Line up the screw port positions on your QSmart external handle with those on the existing handle back plate. Remove any screw ports that are not required. From the outside, insert the cable into the bottom screw hole on the door and feed through to the inside. You may need to extend the hole upwards to allow the cable to pass through, then place the handle on the door. Clamp the handle in place to avoid the risk of it falling off. Select the internal mounting plate, handle fixing screws and the alignment jig. Thread the cable through the slot in the mounting plate. Offer up the internal plate and loosely fix the handle screws through the door into the rear of the external handle to hold it in place. Use a jig to ensure the mounting plate is in the correct position and is square. Do up the mounting screws to ensure the back plate is secure, then remove the jig. Ensure the mounting plate is fully fixed to the door with the five self-tapping screws. It's now time to install the internal handle. Remove the two black covers to reveal the four fixing holes. Ensure that the internal thumb turn barrel has the arrows pointing upwards. This is vital to the correct operation of the handle. Connect the cable into the port on the internal handle, matching red to red. Locate the handle onto the mounting plate, ensuring that the cable is safely tucked into its slot and is not pinched. Fix the four handle screws to secure the handle to the mounting plate and test that the lever works. Make sure everything is working before you close the door. Fit four good quality AA batteries and then go through the lever setup with the door open. Please refer to page 15 of the installation manual. Carry out insulation checks. Making sure the locking door locked. and unlocking works correctly while still in insulation mode. Door open. Currently in installation mode. Add a fingerprint or an IC card to exit. Hand over the manual lower cover along with the fixing screw and special screwdriver to the user. Point out the user section 
of the joint installation user manual. This starts on page 17 and will guide them through the setup procedure. Your installation is now complete.